Alright guys, today we're out here on Hirschfelden to once again try to find the 3 rares we need on this reserve, which are the Melanistic Red Fox, the Melanistic Fallow Deer, and my most wanted rare which is the Melanistic Pheasant. So just as in the last videos, we'll be doing some server hoping to hopefully have a good shot at finding one of these rares and also to increase the possibilities of finding something interesting like this Max Estimate Pheasant Track. There's a chance this is a track of my second ever Diamond Pheasant on Hirschfelden, so let's Let's begin the chase, I wanna find it. While chasing a pheasant or pretty much any upland bird, you gotta make sure to not make too much noise by avoiding to run as much as you can. You know, these guys normally take off way sooner than they should, and if you just keep running, they are gonna hear you way before you can even see them, and it's gonna be really hard to get in range to use the shotgun. Nearly impossible, I would say. So my strategy to hunt these guys is to basically start by just running around looking for tracks and then the moment I find something worth tracking like a max estimate, that's the moment I start to be more careful to get a short opportunity as quickly as possible. Ok, warning call. There's a hen right there coming this way. The whole flock will do the same and hopefully we'll be able to see the big male right here. Let's see. Oh, that's a rooster. And it's the big one, level 2, 19 to 22 estimate, that's massive. Could perfectly be a level 2 diamond. We gotta drop him. Alright. We hit him at least the first time, not sure about the second. And there are a few more pheasants on this flock, although I don't think any of them is bigger than the one where you shot. Well, there's in fact another rooster, which is also about to go down. Alright, here we have this level 1, it has a score of 13.25 and we hit him at 44 meters. Now let's go harvest the potential diamond. Let's see how big it is, it could be massive. 19.68, that is indeed a big face and then a massive level 2, but it's not big enough to be a diamond. Still a nice trophy to start the hunt. Ok, different session, and I just stumbled onto the track of what could be a level 3 road deer. It's been a long time since my last Diamond Robux, so having the chance to find another level 3 would be amazing. At the moment, we're at the Rody Rest time, so if we're careful, we should be able to spot him buried somewhere. And regardless of the size of this bug, the plan is to drop him using a bow. I think I see something there. Yeah, look. There's a doe bedded right there, which I imagine is the one that was with the bug on the feed zone I found. So if that is actually the case, and this ain't a different female, the big male should also be bedded really close to that doe. He ain't visible from here though, but it has to be there. We are probably gonna need to make a few calls to get him out of the brush, but the problem is that on this position the wind is really bad. So the best we can do is to start walking to the southeast and circle the zone in order to have the wind in our favor. Alright, this is a good position from where we may be able to spot the big male. Oh, there he is. And those are some really big antlers. But seriously big, I mean, this guy could perfectly be a level 3. Could be a level 3 or an absolute monster level 2, so gonna have to make a few calls to figure that out because we cannot spot it from here. He is coming in, around 50 meters away, and in just a few seconds we'll finally know if he is actually level 3. Level 2, and it has a massive trophy estimate 78 to 90, so we, even though it's not a level 3, it's still a diamond potential. He was alert, so I went prone just in case. And now he's almost 30 meters away from us, which is inside the ideal range to use the bow. Let's go for it. Well, he's alert again. Just gotta be patient and really soon we'll have a good short angle. Okay, that's better. I'ma wait for him to stop and then I'ma take a shot. Come on. And here we go. He is down, the giant rotor is down. 
He may actually be diamond because this species are actually capable of making it below max level. 79.52 he was really close, they normally start to make it around 33 kgs and this guy weighs 32.91 but it's still a massive robot. Ok guys, different session and I just came across another track of a potential level 3 rooster. The last one was a giant level 2 so hopefully this one will be big enough to make it. Right there. It ain't the big one though. I don't think we hit him, but I'm still gonna see if there's some blood there. Well, we actually hit him the first time, here's the blood. 15.15, level 2, and apparently he was a lone rooster because I didn't see any other hen or rooster flying close to him. Now we gotta find the max estimate track again because it's been like 10 minutes since the last time I saw it. Oh, 19 to 22, level 2 pheasant, that's the max estimate. He's roughly 150 meters away, so if we wanna drop him here, we gotta get in range. We are getting close to 100, he will go alert soon. Alright, he's alert. He is taking off. And luckily, they are all flying this way, such a bad decision. He's a dead rooster. You may have realized that on this occasion, instead of using the 12 gauge Kashatore, we're using the 10 gauge shotgun, which is also a fantastic weapon to hunt any Oplan bar species. Now let's see how big is this potential diamond, perhaps our first ever level 2 diamond pheasant. 20.16, that's a monster. That's a monster pheasant, I mean the diamond score is 20.29 so this guy was incredibly close. Would have been amazing to get a diamond pheasant in the first diamond of the hunt, but we'll have to keep looking for one. Look at this, the track of a potential level 5 Walbor. Right now it's the Walbor rest time, so again if we're careful we may be able to spot him while he's resting close to this area. I heard some movement over there, not sure if it was a fox or one of these pigs, but considering that the tracks are going that way I think it's highly likely that the sounds were caused by one of these boars. And I wouldn't be surprised if they have a rest zone right behind that rock. And in fact, there's a rest zone. And it's very likely they are still better down there, so we're gonna arrive from the east to get a better wind, because it ain't ideal on this position. Okay, we are incredibly close from the zone and I cannot believe that none of these bushes or shrubs gives us full cover. You know, one of my main complaints with this reserve is that it is full of vegetation but it's really hard to find full cover. I mean, there are so many bushes and so many shrubs that look like the perfect cover but they don't provide any. And that can certainly be really annoying because seeing all the brushy areas you may think that this is a great map for bow hunting, when in reality it's actually kinda bad due to the lack of functional vegetation, let's call it. So let's see if they are still here, I haven't heard any sound nor any call recently. Honestly, I think it's likely we spooked them at some point since they are not here anymore and they are supposed to be here. Yeah, it seems they ran away, unfortunately. Oh! Level 5! Level 5 while board, that's the max estimate we were chasing. And all these bacons were very well hidden right here, I didn't see them. So let's drop this time on potential using the new Malmer 7mm. Gonna drop him on the throat. He is down. 
And I believe a couple of these pigs went aggressive. There's one. A small level 2. And now let's see if this wild boar is big enough to be the first diamond of the hunt. 146.21 diamond. The first diamond of the hunt. We hit a single long, the stomach and the liver at 52 meters. Very nice trophy. That's an albino. An albino red fox. It ain't the melanistic we need, but the albinos are also absolutely beautiful. And this one will be our second after getting a label for male last year on Yukon Valley. I would expect to have a chance to shoot her here as we reach this nice open area. There she is. Below 100 meters. Let's go for it. We got her. A beautiful albino red fox, which is my second albino fox ever and the first one I find with a new model. You know, they used to be completely white and now as you can see they have some pink patches on the fur. Frankly, I'm not sure if I like it more than the old one, but it still looks very nice, that's for sure. <laughs> 